Good morning. I trust you're doing well today. It's Monday. It's the 15th of June 2020 and as I think through this past week and look forward to the coming week, I think there's so many challenges we need to work ourselves through as Christians and wondering what's the right thing to say? What's the best way to respond? And if there's ever a day that we need wisdom and discernment, it's today. And that's why I want to challenge you every week with the verse of the week because we need God's word. We need God's wisdom. We need the truth to be able to help us in discerning things and making those decisions, knowing what to say. And this week, <clears throat> the verse is, to me, it's a tremendous verse. It's 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5. And it says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man, Christ Jesus. And I think you'll probably get a little bit of pushback from people who don't know God or believe in his word because they'll say, well, how can you say there's only one God or one way or one Christ or one Messiah? And it does seem very exclusive, very narrow and very limiting. And that it is. But I want you to see how that flows from the goodness of God. A God is anything a person worships. So there are many gods, probably millions of gods in this world, but God is saying, I'm above all of these. I'm above all gods, and I am the sovereign one. And I have provided a way for you to come to me. Uh, I've given you a mediator, and that is my son, Jesus Christ. And there is only one way. If there were many ways, then they would probably all be similar in one thing, but there's a uniqueness about the way through Jesus, that, that it is his atonement, his blood, that washes away our sins, his resurrection that offers to us his life that is absolutely unique, and the fact that heaven is a free gift, it's not earned or deserved. Every other system of religion following any other God in this world is a system of works. It is checking off the boxes, doing these things to try to someday achieve eternal life. And what God is saying is you can't achieve it. It's a free gift, and it's through my son. And the only way that you, you're going to have that is by receiving it by faith and believing. And so to me, it's a tremendous verse. I know it's narrow saying there's one God, one way, <clears throat> excuse me, one Christ. In the preceding verse, he says that God is desiring and wanting all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. And so I think that what it really does is show the generosity of God, the heart of God, the love of God. And so uh, it's an, an anchor verse. It's something we hold on to. It's something we take great confidence in. And so I pray with the uncertainty of our times, the changes that we have every week, all the things going on around you with the, the sickness of coronavirus and the social unrest in our country, that every day you'll spend time in his word and let it wash over your mind and your heart and give you confidence and joy and thanksgiving for what he's done for you. I hope you have a great week. Take care.